big guy group, so he's running with defensive tackles. So he's going to look different. He's going to run uh, much different than the rest of the guys in his first group. You see a 1-6-1-10, which is outstanding. When you look at the edge rushers, the top top 10 guys in sacks last year, Yes. the average 10 was 1-6-3. So he's right below there. So that's a, a great time for him. Here in this building, the Indianapolis Colts coordinating that defense has just kept getting better and better every year. They play hard. That's his, his calling card. You can expect that there in Chicago. Zachary Carter is, is kind of an inside-outside, uh, very versatile player. You see he's, his size almost kind of a tweener, so it'll be about where you play him at the next level. There's a couple players like him in this group. DeMarvin Leal is another one from, from Texas A&M. This guy, he's got great range against the run. Okay, similar to the Matthew Butler from a moment ago. There's Zachary Carter. It's really instinctive. There he goes. Yeah, that's a big man moving. He is. That Four, is a big eight, man two. moving. Holy and That holy. deserves a nice round of applause from the fans here. They just watched somebody pushing 340 run a 4.82 unofficial time. He got out. I mean, you see it. They said the GPS numbers when you, the teams are using those numbers in the fall to give them an idea of how athletic. I mean, wow. You think about how athletic Vita Vea is when you watch him, and then you see how much faster Jordan Davis was. Big Noah Ellis. That's to the question, plus working out with Chuck Smith, the former Atlanta Falcon, with the pass rush moves, he'll have him ready to go. The big baller is one of the best teachers in the game. Peter, what do you have your eye on today? Travis Jones, UConn. He's going to run it a little bit. Now, I don't know if he does Jordan Davis numbers, but... Davenport, now he's going to play more inside. He can really, really bull rush. He can drop his pad for somebody so tall. Mm. That's another sub-5 unofficial 40 here by a big man. Beating Paul Revere, telling us that, that they were coming at that point. This was amazing what we just saw there. But the best part for him is flashing that time when people have the questions, can he become a pass rushing yes, force inside that helps answer the question. Plus, working out with Chuck Smith, the former Atlanta Falcon, mm. with the pass rush moves, he'll have him ready to go. The big baller is one of the best teachers in the game. Peter, what do you have your eye on today? Travis Jones, UConn. He's going to run it a little bit. Now, I don't know if he does Jordan Davis numbers, but... Working on this thing, trust me. He wanted a 4-9 or better. So we've got the unofficial at 4-8-2. And I would just add to this, DJ, he said, everyone knows I'm a run stopper, but I've been working on my rush. He's been working on that speed, DJ. <laughs> Put it yeah, on I, display already. I guess, I guess so. I, got, I just got a text from a general manager just said, wow, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point about Jordan Davis. See big DeMarvin Leal. One of the best things about him, Rich, the NIL world, which you, you live in now yes. with, the, with the Gorilla Glue, but he's, yes. he, had a, uh, he did it right. That is his dad, who happens to be in the Ring of Honor here. It's his whole world's coming together right now. <laughs> it's awesome. Long-time Colt defensive tackle. I mean, pardon me, uh, Chris Hinton. Son here, has got, he's got some real power. He flashes that. Ask him to kind of sit and plug at the line of scrimmage. He can sit and stack blocks. Real strong. 5-2-7. Chris Hinton's name on uh, Colts Ring of Honor. Two spots removed from the man who coaches. Christopher Hinton. Is your phone blowing up yet yes. after that one? Yes. I Trayvon Walker, the, the edge rusher, was supposed to be the combine breakout star from that front seven. I don't think anyone expected that. 482? <laughs> he blew out Don Terry Poe's numbers. This is and those are the average numbers for top 10 uh, in sacks for defensive linemen, interior defensive linemen. So he's a 173 right there, which is right about where you want to be. Big Matthew Butler from Tennessee. Donald was a 163. So he's the most explosive interior defense line I think that's ever walked planet Earth. Right. So, but for him to be even in, in the neighborhood. neighborhood of that is incredible. That is fine. While you're away, John Ridgeway <laughs> making his way to a 5-4-2. Again, these are the defensive tackles that you're looking at in this group. As big Travis Jones, you just heard Peter Schrager talking about what he can do and he might 
open some eyes. He was dominant at the Senior Bowl. Nobody could block him. He's just too, too strong, too powerful. And that's an incredible time. 4-9 flat. 325 pounds. He just he walked centers right back to the quarterback the entire week down at the Senior Bowl. Look at how he's put together, too. That is a big, strong, powerful man. He's out of Bishop Gorman, a powerhouse high school out there in Las Vegas. He can really push the pocket. He loves playing against the Zips. I know that. That was one of the first things that we got in. He had three sacks against Akron. So he's uh, he's handled the Zips. I don't, I don't think that one was at the Rubber Bowl, though. I think that was probably at the shoot. I wonder how. Logan Hall can really get skinny. He's got a nice little swim move. He can get real skinny as an interior rusher. Wow. That's wild. Nice. That, that earns a nice round of applause from the fans here. Perry and Winfrey's an interesting player. Senior Bowl MVP. Plays with outstanding quickness, and that's a now he pulled, but that's 290 pounds going 486. Offensive lineman will have at it later. Jaden Peavy. They used to mix the defensive ends and defensive tackles together, and what happened? They, they wanted to put them together so that when, you know, versus an interior player, and I like it because it kind of trains your eyes on seeing the guys at the same exact spot when you watch them one after another. Mm -hmm. Ridgeway with a better second run. Pick Suey. Davis at 476. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Devontae Wyatt, I mean. Look at that. He was going to be the star of this 4 8 flat. It's incredible. Too late. Yep. Too late. I think Barry was great at the Senior Bowl. Four nine two. Jeffrey Gunter, PL thirty. Jeffrey Gunter of Coastal Carolina. There we go. So he's moving pretty good. Four seven nine. The one six four ten is the number you really care about there. Well, again, one six three is kind of that standard. Playing the run is probably the area he's got to get a little bit stronger, a little bit better at. But he can go. And there he goes. Four three seven. <laughs> he can really go. That's not a bad start to the group here. Just a four three seven. Fans dig it. Two hundred and forty six pounds. Well, they make. Uh plug-ins now in Detroit. <laughs> That's true. Here's it's a, a full charge. Oh, he's definitely a plug-and-play guy, <laughs> and he brings an electric game with him. 16210 is great. 4754. That 162. TJ Watts a 161. Rear. And now here's David Ajabo, who had a stupendous season he on the is. other side of Hutchinson. He can go. He's got burst and bend, and you give him a little bit of room, he, he can close. I'm anticipating him to roll here. Four six flat. Outstanding. Good 10 time. It's a great 40 time. All right. He's back. still learning how to play, Rich, and you saw the impact that he had. I mean, the best is still ahead of him. He didn't come to the United States until high school. Born in Nigeria, moved to Scotland. Now by way of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Fast Wolverines on the defensive line here. The famous line on Ojabo was he said he didn't know the difference between hash browns and hash marks when he started <laughs> got to Michigan. Josh Paschal of Kentucky with a 482. Charles Davis. DJ, a, a, a thicker Ziggy Ansah since you were talking about hash browns and hash marks. Remember Ziggy <laughs> came over. Bo Schembechler's picture on the wall. You know, those who stay will be champions. Yes. Obviously, he he stayed. But there's not oh. one but two photographs of Tom Brady on the wall. As we see Jesse Niketa. By the way. Okay. Now here's another elite prospect. Kayvon Thibodeau of Oregon. Oh, this is a big one, Rich. Yeah, four it, six five. But look at the one six two split. The one wow. six two that is out. Well, his line mates at the tackle position both ran sub four eight, and now he's off and running here. 
Martin. That's a 4 6 flat. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, now here's another elite prospect, Kayvon Thibodeau of Oregon. This is a big one, Rich. Yeah, it, four six five. But look at the one six two split. The one wow. six two that is outstanding. That's what Hutchinson uh, posted. Yeah, and again, T.J. Watt one six one, Miles Garrett one six three. So that's that's the neighborhood when you're talking about your get off. Can you win right now off the snap? That burst. That shows you what he's got there. You better get out of your stance if you're a tackle going up against this group of edge rushers. Hmm. Elite level material. What do they, what do they want? It's Apparently they, did, they didn't want Javon Walker. Oh my goodness. Four, five, two for Sam Williams. Yeah, Sam Williams, 12 and a half sacks in the SEC. And you look at my notes here. Ready for the draft. Isaiah Thomas, Oklahoma. Seven six, good all the way around. Good ten, good forty. Peter, Rich. by a defensive lineman since 03, that usually does translate to a fast forty. He's got bursts when you watch him. There he is. Four seven eight. Shows you what Nick Bosa can do and has done. Myron Tungo Vailoa Omosa, and yes, that is to his cousin. He reminded me of a, of a player when I was with the Baltimore Ravens, Jarrett Johnson. Jarrett Johnson started out as a defensive tackle. Now we have Thomas Booker, who's kind of the one big with the edge rusher. So All right. he's going to probably be a, a three technique and interior defensive lineman, um, 301 pounds. So you got to adjust your eyes a little bit after the 4 3 7. That's a great time for a big man. 1 6 9, 10 yard split, too. Stanford Cardinal. Again, let's give you the numbers here once we get through, as we're starting to go through all these edge rushers now. If you look at the guys in terms of top tens and sacks. Four seven two, so he better his time. Excellent. IJ Sanders. He betters his time brief right, slightly. Again, the Barno time what we've ever seen by a defensive lineman here at the Combine. Beating Montez Sweat's 4-4-1 official. He's got the unofficial time slightly better. Smith betters his time, second go around. No Combine last year. Jason Owe at his pro day ran the high full yes. threes. Here's Walker. This is incredible. A 4-6 flat. Look how smooth and effortless that is. That is not normal. Neither were the Bulldogs on defense. Look at the speed they had in their front seven. We haven't even got to the outside linebacker or this linebacker or skill guys. This is just what they do up front. Yeah, well, here's Jordan Davis. <laughs> well done. Comes out. He was doing some shuttles. He had a 1-6-2-10 on that run.